Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Antoine. And, and this, this is Speed Cubing. I'm Alex Munch and I'm the co-organizer of the competition. Right, we're having a competition to celebrate the uh, Beyond Room Cube exhibit at the Tells World of Science. It involves 10 separate events ranging from 2x2 two two to 5x5 five five, to such events as multiple blindfolded. We have about 130 people here today, which makes it the third largest competition in Canada. My name is Antoine Canton, I'm from Ottawa, and I have the world record for solving the Rubik's Cube one-handed with an average time of 10.87 seconds. Right, so the basic method for solving the cube is a layer-by-layer -layer method. So since the cube has three layers, we're just going to do the first layer, and the second layer, and then the third layer. So the first layer is something that most people can do intuitively. A good way of doing it is actually starting it with some sort of a cross, and then you just have to put the, piece, the corners in right. So you can do that pretty much by just figuring it out. And then once you have the first layer done, then you have to start learning algorithms. You have to l learn certain series of moves in order to get the pieces in right for the second layer. Like I'm doing right now. And then once you have the second layer done, then you have to learn more algorithms, more formulas to get the right color on the top, like this. And then once you have that, all you have left to do is to switch around the pieces that are left learn more series of moves, and you got it solved. To do it blindfolded, basically what we do is we memorize where a certain piece is, and then we memorize where that piece goes. And since we have a certain letter assigned to every different piece, what we do is that we memorize those letters, but then we put two letters together and we make a word with it. And then with those words we make sentences. And since there are only 20 pieces to solve on the cube, we generally only memorize about 10 words, maybe a little more, depending on the scramble. And that means that I only have to memorize a couple sentences in order to remember exactly how to solve the cube, blindfolded. A lot of what's fun about it is being able to improve, to get better, get faster, so you can be able to solve the cube faster. It's also about going to competitions, meeting people, interacting with the community. It's all a lot of fun. 